I come to the question then, which we're really going to dig into deeper here now today. How to then overcome loneliness? Well, I draw only one conclusion. It is about speak. It is about talking. It's about asking the right question. Or as a good friend of mine has written a book, Andy Lopata, he wrote a book, Just Ask. That's what it's all about. It's about speaking up and talking to each other because that's what Simon didn't do. And that's what I didn't do. And just to round up my story and take it back to when I was lying there with a swollen foot and I, I was sure I was going to die. And when I was turning to alcohol after work to relax and when I was overweight and I lost um, the happiness inside me, it was indeed that I was keeping secret. I didn't talk to anyone about it. I didn't have a coach or a mentor or a close friend who I dared to be vulnerable with. So that was the whole problem. As soon as I decided to then tell my new wife, who I married in April 2018, that I was not well, I started to come back to life. I then went to see a doctor. I told the doctor what happened. I then got help and I started to feel better. I got a coach, a fitness coach, who started to help me to lose my weight, get better diet, sort out the sleep and everything else. And with the help of the coach, I started to feel some progress and I was coming back to life. And very, very quickly, here in just one month, basically, the loneliness, my depression, anxiety, everything disappeared so quickly when I just started to speak to people who was listening to empathy, with empathy to what I had to say. So that was the beginning of my transformation journey then. And here am I uh, on uh, pictures. If you see the race I finished there, that's in 2019. So just one year basically after that photo with <laughs> her, saw me so fat and, and almost given up on life. I was completing an Ironman race. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a race where in one day you swim 3.8 kilometer, you cycle 180 kilometer, and then you run a full marathon, uh, 42 kilometer. And if you see on the sign there, N Johnson, which it says there, uh, it's me, I, under 13 hours finish line. So isn't that amazing what you actually can do when you put the, your mind to it? And that's really my recovery journey. And here, by the way, the newspaper clipping, there is a full page in the Business Times. They interviewed me. And again, I'm talking about physical wellness and mental recovery words here, which no one wants to talk about in the press, but I decided to do it. And as I started to do it, others are now feeling more comfortable in Singapore to also share their mental recovery, because these are the stories we need to share and we need to talk about it. And According to me, it's been a wonderful recovery journey, and that's why I'm sharing it with you today, because I wouldn't have been here if it wasn't that I spoke up and I had the coaches, the mentors, and the right people around me during this time. So the key learning here to share is that if you have something on your mind, speak it up, but also look out for then your coaches and so on if they have something. So that was my story.